Back in the beginning of the bluegrass times, women were not really uh, that prominent on stage. You saw lots of, uh, lots of men groups, and if you saw a woman involved, usually they just sang. They were not playing an instrument and singing, usually. But um, along the way, then come Mona and Carol, and we all looked up to them because they not only set the pace, did good music, they always looked good. They always dressed really nice, and I felt that was so important. Oh, I heard Mona singing tenor late at night at that very first event. I went over there, and Carol was standing right beside her, you know, as a teenager, swatting that guitar. We started playing when there were not a lot of women musicians in bluegrass, but they took our breath away. We had never seen anyone playing like that. They meant business when they got down to it. They didn't exactly and, um, mistreat the guitar, but they just gave it a whooping. Oh, they, I mean, if you, and people loved to jam with them because yeah. they yeah. played so good. And uh, that was um, something that really struck us was their, their musical ability. They, they could really drive a band. And, uh, you know, we grew up in the era where they'd come around and say, you, you, you play, really good for a girl. <laughs> well, nobody said that to Mona or Carol. Let me just put it that That's way. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs>